Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. And trust me, guys, it works. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And the best of all, it is totally free. Yes, totally free. So download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. I'll suck on the mic. My poor computer. Been through it. Why, this should be hot right now. That should be hot, hot. Hotty, hot, hot, hot. It's a little bit cold now. And I waited until last minute to wash my clothes. Of course. Of course you waited last minute to be washing your clothes. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. <laughs> but welcome to the podcast. Back to the podcast. Hi, everyone. Are you... What is that? Alcohol wipe? Yeah, I'm gonna wipe my dirty computer screen. Okay. No, that's your... No, is that an alcohol wipe? It's an electronic wipe. Is Did you get the on-brand one? The Walmart brand? Those are yours. No, th- those are the screen ones. Uh, If you... Before... Okay. Because... With those, you're supposed to use a different for the screen. You're supposed to use a different type because if you use the alcohol wipes, you'll it'll you'll see the smearing when it's dark, so you won't really fix anything. It'll just make it worse. And so if you use those blue technology wipes, um, it'll work. You can use that for that and like for the keyboards, but for the screen, you have to use those blue ones that, that I provide. Probably be why it doesn't get better. Yeah. Because <laughs> once you use the actual uh, blue wipes, you'll see a huge difference. I can't wait because I was struggling to look at this today. Really? Yeah. How many? How, how are your fingerprints? <laughs> bad. <laughs> Why are they bad? Because oh, they don't treat it good. Oh, okay. We'll treat it better. I should. Exactly. I just treat my shit like. You treat your electronics so you don't give a shit about them until... <laughs> it breaks even though this was a $1,000 computer. And then you're over here telling me, baby, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and you'll be telling me, baby, how do I fix it? Baby, what do I do? Those electronic wipes on my phone screen, too. Yeah, you're supposed to. Does it, and it works just fine. Not the screen cleaning towels. The suck? The electronic wipes. Oh, yeah, that's pro. Yeah, no. Do you need help opening that? Okay. I'm not I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Okay. I believe I know they're using I don't think they're using like full alcohol like rubbing alcohol, I think. Oh, wow, that's like clearly already make a difference. <laughs> I think they use something different. I think they use like peroxide and something else. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god, these fingerprints are on there. Why is this one smeared bad? I don't know. What were you doing? <laughs> you must be grabbing it by the screen. You're fucking gripping it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't... <laughs> you don't fucking, like, hold your Mac... You don't, like, close it shut and then be good. You fucking grip it by the screen. Oh my gosh, look how clean it is. Ooh, yeah, it, good, and, if you did, and if you did the alcohol wipes, it would have just smeared it worse, huh? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I would have. But today at work is was honestly pretty fast, if I'm being honest. It was pretty fast. It's probably because since I'm so used to coming in at 4, doing a 4 to 12.30, that... Is that going up? Yeah. What does she want? Hello. But anywho, I'm so used to coming in at 4 to 12.30. And when I come in at those times, it just... Uh, the day goes by so much faster because by the time that I'm leaving, it's getting busy, and so it just feels so much better uh, compared to a couple days ago. Uh, well, I'll say a couple days ago. Yesterday, I was actually at seven to four thirty, and let me just tell you, 
I was beyond bored. It was. It felt super slow. It felt super long, and I'm like, oh my god, I just, I just want to fucking go home. Like, I am bored, and it was barely like, the, like one. And I'm like, I'm bored. I want to go home, <clears throat> but I can't go home yet. What do I do? I mean, I can't just walk out and clock out because then they'll talk to me the next day <clears throat> and say, hey, you know, why'd you clock out? Why'd you leave early? And so. It was one of those things where I'm like, oh, yeah, I went through it, but let's just say, I mean, <laughs> let's just say I was bored. Um, but then today, you know, coming in from 4 to 1230, yeah, it was so much better. But I mean, so much better. It felt like the day, by the time it was like 10 o'clock. Well, by the time I was already taking my lunch and then got back from a break and it was already almost 11, I'm like, wow, it's already 11. I still have an hour and a half. I have to do a training, which took about an hour and a half. And so I was like, damn, this is nice. This day feels like it's done. It's nice. <clears throat> and because usually how I do my breaks is I do every three hours. Um, and so, you know, by seven, I'm taking my first break. And then, obviously, like, by 10, I'm taking my lunch. Then after my lunch, I take my break. And so when I come in from 7, like, 7 to 3, like, I'm doing tomorrow, um, when I'm coming, when I'm taking my first break at 10, it, instead of it being, like, my lunch, it's actually just my first break. And then by close to 1 is when I'm taking my lunch, and by then I'm already off. And so it just feels weird that I'm going to break that late. But, hey, what can I do? <clears throat> but, yeah. And I'm thinking of a new idea with the podcast. I want to... Something I want to do one a day, one a week, I mean. Um, and just in those weeks are guests. But... Then I also want to keep the two a week, two podcasts a week for a bit. Um, and one of those days, I'm thinking that Sunday, make that the um, the guest podcast. Like the, like that day would be the guest. And the Thursdays would just be, you know, me talking. You know, it's just me bab- blabbling, just whatever the hell's going on in my week. And call it a day instead of, you know, let's say if I'm trying to get two guests a week, you know, that can be really hard. I'm barely, I'm still struggling to find one. I keep getting it rejected a lot or just left on, like, delivered. Like, no one's even opening my messages. So, again, it's still really hard to find a guest. Um, I wouldn't think it'd be this hard, but it's really hard. I just got to keep doing it, keep going and s- until I find someone. Um, what the hell? My girlfriend's laughing loud. <laughs> um, today I went to a like networking event for uh, the Briley team. And let me just say, uh, I was a nervous motherfucker. I went in. It was like prom, like senior prom, walking in. And being confused and lost as hell. And so I was that sitting duck, just standing around with my girlfriend, drinking water. And I'm like, what the hell do I do? I don't know any of these people. Like, I thought it was going to be different by networking. But no, this is just feels awkward. It feels weird. I feel like I shouldn't even be here. Um, but, you know. I was eating, you know, we, you know, my girlfriend and I, we, well, mainly me, I ate, s- snacked on some stuff, and then that's when the, the like, because like I said, it was the Briley team that was hosting it, and the actual guy, I guess you can call him like the team lead or like the owner of the team, uh, Adam Briley, he came up and talked to me, and we talked for a bit. Loved the guy, love his vision, and we talked for a lot. And you know, we were we were vibing, Cornim. But you know, that could just be a, a way of him to say, you know, 
we're vibing only because I want you to join the team because, you know, we get another people, another person, and more from my pocket. Um, but it was going well, actually. You know, Kobe Sway and I, we kind of talked. And it was going good, actually. Really, Once I had him talk to me and then a little bit of Kobe Sway, it was going really, really loved it. Really loved it. Beautiful area that we were at. Like, oh, my God. I walked in. Well, I mean, we walked in, and I felt like I shouldn't even have been there. Even arriving in the parking lot, nice cars everywhere. I'm like, yeah, I don't uh, – it doesn't really feel like I should belong here. But <laughs> what can I do? I'm just having some fun. I just want to network with people. I want to get to know people for real estate because even though, yes, I am struggling super, super hard on this test, on the practice exam, um, on the notes, like I'm just because how I study better is if I know, like if I'm doing it in the real world and um, and like visually seeing it. Because, I mean, yeah, study cards, no cards, whatever. But if I'm also seeing it in person, I do so much better. But, oh, do I do so much better? Um, but if I just try to study, 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 I get bored. Like, my mind just gets lost, and I just want to drift away, and I don't want to study anymore. And so a part of me, I mean, I believe in myself. I believe I can do. I can believe I can, I can achieve my dream. But a part of me right now is just struggling part of me is just hoping i mean i know just hoping i pass sometime i mean i know i'm not gonna pass the first time my girlfriend keeps telling me to stop having that mindset which it is true i mean i need to stop having that mindset but it's also just that thing of i know i don't feel prepared i don't feel ready and i don't want to go to the test more confident like being in, like super confident in myself and then doing bad and then right there you know, being disappointed in myself and then by being disappointed I don't want to do it anymore and I do want to do it I want to be a millionaire by 30 and I know I can reach that by then so I don't want to fucking you know fail I want to keep fucking pushing like but I mean fucking pushing I know I can do it. I believe in myself. And I know I can. Even though I gotta go take the test at like 1 p.m. Gotta be there by like, gotta leave the apartment by like 11.30. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, and then after we ate, uh, Texas Roadhouse. And let me just fucking tell you, uh, their bread rolls, man. Don't know what the fuck Texas Roadhouse does, but. Their bread rolls, man. They go hard. The burger I had was mid. I mean, I'll be honest. It was mid. But the rolls, man. Oh, my God. So fucking good. And in that part of Omaha, like West Omaha, again, beautiful, beautiful area. So much Teslas. Like, so much of my dream cars are there. And that's, like, another way of pushing me to do this, to get that type of car. Because I'm like, damn, I want that car so bad. Because the SUV, honestly, I'm thinking of that Ford Bronco, the 2022 Ford Bronco. They're doing, like, their heritage. I, I think I don't know if they're calling it a heritage. Um, I forgot what term they're actually using. But it looks so nice, actually. Like, that red one. Oh, my God. It actually looks so nice. So nice, but yeah. Uh, what else did I do this week? I'm just working a lot, honestly. I'm like super, super tired. Like I've been super sleepy, and I've been thinking of taking vitamin D, vitamin B12, iron, and magnesium pills every day. Um, because I need to. St- but I mean, I need to truly start working out again. Even just dieting for the start. And slowly we go on. I need to. I need to start doing it like bad, but I mean bad. I I just need to. Um, and I feel like you know at least helping with taking those vitamins, dieting a little bit better. I hope would help me. Will help me. You good? I could hear you laughing. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Okay. Why later? 
funny. Did she tell you how they did? Yeah. They actually did good? Yeah. They actually passed? Mm-hmm. Because home office was um, going to give him a strike if the shrink was over $1.3 million, but the shrink was 786 786000 So oh. it was like... It was still very high, though. I mean, if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, but last year it was a million. Jesus. So, so 786000 is much, much less than a million. So he got lucky. So he gets this pass? He passes, you know. And I bet everyone's happy. I mean, he is because they ordered a taco truck. Yep, you just know everyone's happy now mm-hmm. because R- uh, Dale's like, "Fuck yeah, I don't get to, I don't get, I'm not one step closer to losing my job." Yeah. So after inventory, after they saw how they did, they ordered a taco truck for everyone to eat. So. Well, let's like did how did home do? Oh, that's kind of that's kind of gay. <laughs> choose the life. Oh. <laughs> Dang, I feel like I can see into the. See into the um, future. You can instead of seeing in one forty four p, you can finally see in four k. Like those memes of four k. Yeah, but until it gets dirty again and. Uh, well, don't touch the screen. Why do you need to touch the screen so aggressively? By gripping the whole well, damn I, screen. Sometimes I have to move it. By gripping the whole damn screen. <laughs> but another update. These cool gla- Oakley glasses that I was looking at. They look pretty nice on me. I hope in the future it can be giving me those. Do I, want, I, mean, do I truly want to be wearing glasses? No. But my girlfriend says I look hot in it. But I'm more of a contacts guy. But she wants me to wear glasses. I agree. Because she's a little bit. I thought you were about to call me a little bitch. Oh, no. I'm not going to call you a little bitch. Um, (laughs) (laughs) No. I I was going to say it would be a little bit naughty, not call you a bitch. (laughs) Am I rude? (laughs) (laughs) Right, I'm not rude. Depends. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know why I feel so tired, <laughs> like sleepy, tired. I don't know. Like no, I can't. I can't be going to bed. Okay. I've got to read the Bible, you know. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> and this morning okay. and this morning when I was waking up you were almost on top of me like you no, I wasn't your leg was locked into my leg <laughs> and so when I was trying to turn off the alarm and get up to go to the bathroom I would almost like kick myself out of your whole leg because you told me to turn off the alarm and which I did but then um as I was obviously trying to get up to go to the bathroom, I was wondering my, why my leg felt heavier. And yeah, it's because you were almost locking your leg on my leg. How could I change that? I was just, I was just leaving. <laughs> I don't know. But why is it? Why was it so locked? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know either. That's why I had to fucking get myself out. And then you got a little bit pissed. And so you moved. You moved like your whole body. And then... You were finally better. And that's when I was finally able to go to the bathroom. And I was happy. I was able to go to the bathroom. That's great. I know, right? I felt good, too. <laughs> Man, I don't know what else to be talking about. It's kind of just my week. It's how my week has been. Really nothing new. Uh, Friday, I'll be taking that test. So, I'll see how that goes. And then... Study, study, study. If I fail, gotta see. Keep studying and retake it. It's the only thing I can do. But thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys Sunday. Bye. <laughs>